Archie. Are you helping me set up today? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Looks like you're hindering. <laughs> Are you helping me set up today? I, I'm in charge of set up today. In charge of being awesome. What are you in charge of? Breakfast. Yeah. Um, I knew he'd find that cable tie. It's not the first one he's played with. Go play outside. With your sister. With the Alsatian. today's episode hopefully you can hear us because it is a buzz of activity and everybody has their engines running yeah because you can't really have it running during the festival we are just about to finish setting up the artwork on the side of the boat we thought you might like to see that so we've paused a little bit and also we're not 100% sure if it's not going to rain yeah there's about a 50% chance I think according to the Met Office app that I use so what I'd like to do is show you our setup and then also kind of show you around the festival a bit today. Yeah. And um, in case you want to come next year, we had so many people visit this year that had never been before and I don't actually think they were disappointed. <laughs> that Mia was, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He's in that tree. I'm there being he heckled by my cat who has found a tree. put the cats in yesterday but um quite a few people wanted to meet them and we're really sorry that we couldn't let them out but we have to be mindful of their safety and security first and foremost and you sorry can, about that yeah you can kind of see what a fraidy cat munchie is anyway and um, there's only a few people around but they wanted to get out and stretch their legs yeah they need to have their exercise time they didn't want to go out yesterday evening because there were still a lot of people hanging around because the bar was open until gone 11 last night we are um gonna set up now and then i'm gonna show you some of the other traders enough to be next to the home brew boat and this is Barry who is Hello. lovely oh. <laughs> um, and if you didn't make it to the festival this weekend you can buy from the home brew boat online yeah absolutely yeah we've got everything here for brewing especially for spirits if you want to make your own spirits excellent so the place. is the website www.homebrew.com no it's oh. the all one word the homebrewboat.co.uk excellent check it out <laughs> because also they're lovely people thank you because they kind of adopted us because we know nothing <laughs> thanks very much Bye. and this is another boater helen who is just as lovely as barry and sandra <laughs> and um they also adopted us out of pity and <laughs> No, it's so mom. true. It's so true. <laughs> we had no idea, and then they came up to us and they're like, "Have you registered?" And we're like, "I don't know." <laughs> so they've been lovely. They sell jam. We do. 
and we need jam so <laughs> it's been really lucky for us <laughs> we have a website which is uh, wildsidepreserves.co.uk and that has a, a we plot our location so wherever we are in the system we Fantastic. register there and we have a list of all the events we do and we spend six months of the year in a house um, I don't hold that against them but <laughs> Lots of but people that, live on houses. <laughs> that does mean that if you are in striking distance of where we live, you can always pop around. So, you know, email us, give us a call, contact us through the website, whatever. So much better to buy local. So thank you so much. <laughs> You're very Helen. welcome. Have a lovely day. <laughs> thank you. I am here at Canal Art by Julie and Julie's lovely and she's got some awesome kind of hand painted have hand painted canal way traditional yes and they're beautiful and if you didn't make it to the festival this weekend can they look at your things elsewhere yes I have a website canal art by Julie and also I'm on eBay Julie canal art and you can find me there excellent and I know friends of mine bought two of your mugs yesterday and I was actually a little bit jealous I but I, we have a one in one out policy on the boat so as soon as I break some more mugs then I can replace my mugs well I will paint them to order for customers Ooh, so like would you change the colour yes yes certainly fantastic oh best of luck today Julie <laughs> okay thank you very much thank you. right with all these people here I know we're being so brave so we have um, just a little update we've had lunch which we didn't have yesterday. Yeah, we did. Well, yeah, but not till really late. Yeah. So, um, and Why now, are doing this now, and <laughs> and this is what Kath looks like when you try to vlog in public. It's but, free for have a look. Fast. Have a look. So it's going really well. Yeah, we're having a great day. Thanks to all the people that have come and said hi. We've really enjoyed meeting everyone. What? What are you doing? Checking out Alice in the tree. Alice is out the tree. She's scared. Is she? Yeah. Does she want to come down? She can't come back in because she can't get across because of all the people. Oh no. <laughs> Look, I have found Nicola from Glad Rags and Bones. Glad Rags and Bones, how cool is that? And she's just starting. I've just launched the um, dog product company. It started at the beginning of August, so I'm trying to get the brand awareness. And it's so super cute. So, what do people have to do if they're not here this weekend? They have to like me and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I like her already. <laughs> they did these really cute little dog collars and bags and uh, they're just super cute so check it out yeah that's yes. brilliant right, yeah thank, thank you, you. I have found Lynette and Lynette has the most beautiful bags 
but if you're not at the show this weekend, how can they see your bags? And you do other things as well, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Um, you can go onto our Facebook page, um, which is called uh, Polly and Lolly, Polly and Lolly's Workshop. Okay. And they can and, and order yes, from your Facebook? Yes, you can. I make anything uh, in any fabrics that you want. Um, and, and yes, just send me a message uh, through Messenger. Which is great because you're supporting local artists and creative people. And really, they are super stunning. I'm only allowed one bag a year. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to give Kath the link to this shop because you've got gorgeous bags. They're so pretty. And she'll design something for you based on the fabric choice but you'll yeah. they, you've got the fabric in here as well um yes i, I buy fabric in for for each order really so we've got something individual cool thank you, thank you. <coughs> seriously i have just stumbled on the dog show calf's going to be so excited that i managed to get it it is awesome i'm going to show you some of the dogs <coughs> Okay, okay. First place. Well done, guys. First place, this is. First place. Okay. Fifth place. Well done. I encourage you to join the next group as well. But ladies and gentlemen, these guys here do a load. Of I've done my little escaping, so now I have to go back to the boat and do some helping. Look who I found! Hello. Met you at last! <laughs> <laughs> Met you at last! <laughs> so where have you come from? Um, Kings Bromley. Bromley. And is that? In the Midlands. In the Midlands. Oh, the excellent! Midlands, yes. so yes. And the uh, um, Trenton Mersey. Trenton Mersey. Oh, and yeah. you've got cute little jackets yeah. on that have your names on them! <gasps> oh! Home is where you moor it. That's adorable. Did yeah. you get those made? Yes. Yeah. Oh, aren't they cute? So you've just come to see us. Yeah, yeah. just come to see you too because we want the badges. Yes! We thought that you were such generous ladies that you would have had the pot boiling by now. I offered you some grapes. That's I know, true. but that's not tea, <laughs> tea and coffee and biscuits. No. Oh, so where's Sleeping Isabel and you guys come from? Uh, from Evesham in Worcestershire. Oh, yeah. Not, not far. far, only about an hour away. No, only an hour, yeah. so. So this this is Sleeping Isabel's parents, yeah. who are called Roly, Lucy, Roly Tree. Yes. It's 5.30 on Sunday. Wow. We've packed up. Clearing up from outside was really quick. Yes. And we've put everything away already. So you wouldn't even know that we'd done anything different to a Except normal that day. we're wrecked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have had the absolute best weekend at Black Country Boating Festival. Yep, we're really glad we came along. It gave us a great opportunity to meet a whole heap of people that we haven't met before yeah that, and um, some people that we have like yeah. lots of people we met at Crick yeah and, and loads of people we recognize from Crick and some <laughs> we're sorry to say we didn't <laughs> yeah and then we did once we started yeah. talking to you again so please don't be offended if we didn't remember we've met so many people we absolutely loved it yeah we, we think really we time. picked exactly the right festival to come to I think anybody who came to the festival and they came because we promoted it and said you should maybe come along. I don't think they were disappointed. No, I, th I, th I believe there was a lot of entertainment going on on the other side in the field. Yes, I did go and check on. it out. Um, there was a dog show today. Yes. There was um, obviously a beer tent with a band who was still playing. There was loads of local craft stalls and with selling handmade things. Uh, load, quite a few trading boats, which was nice. There was boat trips going up and down. So many people yeah. 
part. I think it was the right festival to do and that we definitely chose the right journey. Yeah, a big shout out to Paddy and the team who organised the festival. Yes. Um, we don't know anybody else's name except for Jill and there was the guy that commented and Adrian, the harbour master. Yeah. Everyone's been so friendly and so helpful. So We're welcoming. in love with the home brew boat because they kind of adopted us and they've been really supportive and helpful to um, our first trade yeah. and made us feel really welcome. We'll put links in the description below of all of the other boats that were trading here that gave us their information yeah and some so of the crafters also that we're happy to come on to the channel <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching and supporting our 11 days to bumble hole and the festival uh we don't know where we're off to next so if you've got any suggestions we are on the dudley number two canal and we don't know where we're going to next no. so if you've got a suggestion please leave it in the comments below and we'll check it out also if you know of any stoppages that we should be aware of that would prevent us from doing a journey uh comment below as well we're going to look at the stoppages and we're going to look at the map and we're going to work out where to go next yes so stay tuned for that yeah and we'll see you again soon thanks again for all of your support you've made this weekend really amazing for us and we very much appreciate everything and Sorry. all the people that traveled and that yeah kind of and everybody that gave us presents yes we've because got so we got some lovely awesome presents. awesome presents and we'll show them to you over the next couple of vlogs i'm sure because one of them was a gorgeous apron and um like a stubby holder and a little paper canal boat and, and new captain's hat the awesomest hat ever uh, so we're really really grateful wine some people gave us wine and um, yeah so thank well, you too a couple bought us some lovely gin drinks <gasps> yes a gorgeous couple um, thank you so much for that support as well yeah um, we hope you come back again and if you haven't already do subscribe and give the video a like and we'll see you again soon for more vlogs yay thanks